quick trick with a 3D magic marker and a paddle stick. So what I'm going to do is, a little bit of maths involved, not much. I'm going to take that marker and I'm going to put a dot on this side, a dot here, a dot here. That's three dots here. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put one on here, one on here, and finally one on here, which makes six. So far, so good. So now I have six dots here, six dots here. Now, if I remove one of the dots, this is the maths. Quick, easy maths question. How many dots do I have left? Now you'd think I'd have five, but I said this is a magic 3D marker. So actually, if you remove one from this side, it removes it from this side also. So I actually have four left, not five. Let me show you again. Remove one from here, which leaves us one. One on this side. Let me just show you again, Let's start fresh. We've got six dots. One, two, three, one, two, three. Remove one. Now you probably understand how it works. Two and two. Move another one. We have actually got one here, one here. And the thing is, like I said, it's a magic mark because you can do things like this, which is really clever. You can move one from the bottom to the top. So now they're both on the top. And you give it a little shake and it ends up back on the bottom again. So they're both back on the bottom. Like I said, it's a magic marker pen. If I remove it off and I retain the ink within my fingertips, it's gone from the paddle now. But just by throwing it, it ends up back on the paddle. So now I have two dots. And like I said to you, this is no ordinary marker, it's a magic marker, but it's a 3D marker. So I can actually get a 3D image. So now it's gone from the paddle completely and I actually have a three-dimensional ball. Clever little trick.